Hello all students of Form 4, I am teacher Susan Yeah, uh, I would like to share a video to show you guys how to do the PPL project We have two types of mutation Number one is chromosome mutation and number two is gene mutation So you just need to choose any one of the mutation Looking for all the information regarding to the mutation disease uh, that you choose after that, make an e-poster and also make a video. So after you have completed everything, submit your video PPL in, to your own science teacher. Now you guys can have a look at uh, the video that I produced, okay? Hello, good morning teachers. I'm Susan from 4K. Today I want to present to you um, the research that I'm doing which is on the chromosome mutation. The disease that I choose is Down syndrome. You can see on my slide, I give two examples of the people, one girl, one boy, which they are patients of the Down syndrome. For your information, Down syndrome is having uh, is a uh, genetic disease that having an extra chromosome, especially on the chromosome number 21, which you can see on my um, e-poster. Okay. Uh, this patient will have extra chromosome. Normal people only have 46 chromosomes, but this patient will have 47 chromosomes. So what are some of the characteristics for Down syndrome patient? Number one, normally they have flat facial, uh, facial features like this. And then you can see the head is small, the ears also very small, and they have a short neck and they have a bulky tuck like that. And then the eyes normally slanted upward. And also, they have a typical shape ears that you can see in most of the Down syndrome patient. And most of them, they are having poor muscle tone, which causing them unable to control themselves in many activities. And also, there are some common observed adverse effects in the Down syndrome patient. Normally, they are irritability, agitation, aggressive behavior, transitional anxiety, and also they have sleep related problem. According to the National Down Syndrome Society, the, there is only one key factor to cause the Down Syndrome, which is the maternal age, which means uh, the age of a mother who conceive or who get pregnant. Typically, if a 2 and 25 years old woman who conceive, the, the risk to get Down Syndrome is only one in 1,200. But when the age going up, if conceived by the age of 35, the risk of getting this Down syndrome child will increase to 1 in 350. If the age increase to 40 and above, therefore the risk will become 1 in 100. And mo uh, the most serious will be if the age is above 49 years old, the chances to get a Down syndrome baby will increase to 1 in 10. Uh, there will be no treatment for the Down syndrome we can only have, there's no cure for Down syndrome, but we only can have certain treatment um, which can be used for the Down syndrome patient. They will focus in four parts. The first one is a speech therapy. This one is to help improving the ability of the patients to communicate. Secondly, it will be the physical therapy. Physical therapy meaning to say they have to strengthen the muscle and improve the motor skill. This one is to try uh, helping the patients whereby they can do a simple daily activity like eating, going to the toilet, controlling the toilet needs, this and that. And they also can be, uh, can be trained after the treatment so that they can do a simple house show like sweeping the floor. That's why we can see in KFC, we were able to see some of these mild sy Down syndrome patients, they are still able to work by wiping the table, this and that. And number three, it is under occupational therapy. Occupational therapy is to help um, also to help improving the motor skill but this one will be preparing the patients moving on to the outside society and lastly it will be the behavioral therapy this one this therapy is meant for controlling and helping the patients to 
target and um, focusing on the emotional changes because as we mentioned just now there will be some side effects some adverse uh, effect for this down syndrome patient causing them to be maybe aggressive if they cannot control themselves so by using the behavioral therapy this one will help the down syndrome patients to target and to control the emotion especially when they are moving out into the society facing the normal people therefore they could control the emotion effectively and and, a, 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 and making sure that they are able to mix around with the normal people in the society and they can go into a certain uh, company or shop to do some simple job and hands they can earn for their life. Thank you for listening to the presentation. Before I end, kindly remind that your PPL duration is from 8 to 12th of June. 8 hingga 12 June. Kindly pass up your PPL by the latest 12th of June. Alright, thank you.